Good morning everyone and welcome to another full day of eating. Now I already know that this is not going to be my usual healthy full day of eating or semi-healthy full day of eating. I'm going to be out and about a little bit. I'm also going to be turning my breakfast oatmeal into something a little more Christmassy and interesting today. I've got a little bit of shopping to do so I'm probably going to be eating lunch out somewhere and really not sure what's going to happen for the rest of the day but I have a feeling it's not going to be as healthy as it usually is. So what I'm doing for my breakfast now is I'm going to turn my usual oatmeal into this gingerbread cake cookie type thing. I saw this online, it's super easy and I needed to try it. So what I'm doing is using my usual half a cup of oatmeal, I'm going to put that into my blender with one egg, half a banana, sugar-free maple syrup. I'm going to add a little bit of chopped walnut to it. And to make it Christmassy, I'm going to be adding some ginger, nutmeg, and cloves to it. Now to top it off, I'm also going to be adding some frosting, just a little smear of frosting. And unfortunately, I don't have any Christmas sprinkles. We looked everywhere to find Christmas themed sprinkles. No supermarket seems to have them. They're just not anywhere. That's the thing about New Zealand. It's very hard to find certain things, especially around Christmas time. Like we just don't do stuff like that well. It's frustrating. So I'm just using my normal hundreds and thousands. Okay, now I just have to let that cook for 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna clean this up and then show you the final product. Okay, so I'm about to start icing it. I'm way too impatient to wait for it to cool down. It's still quite warm, but I'm so hungry. I've been waiting for ages. This is something that takes quite a long time then you've got to let it cool down if you're going to ice it and make it look all pretty so if you're going to make this do it on a weekend or when you've actually got time and when you're not really really hungry So guys, there we are. This is the final product. Now I know you want to see what this looks like, so I will try it in front of you. I hate eating on camera, but I will cut into this today so you can see what it looks like inside. This is what she looks like. It's still quite warm, so that's why it's a little sort of softer. It tastes very Christmassy. Got a little bit of ginger. It's got all that nice nutmeg and cinnamon flavor to it with the sweetness of the icing and the strawberries are really, really good too and the crunchiness of the nuts. Okay, so can you see this? All right, going to go and enjoy this and see you back in the kitchen if I have a morning snack or I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. I never know what I'm going to do really on the weekend. So I've just been doing a little bit of editing this morning. I had to get a video done, so I've just spent a couple of hours finishing that that I've kind of been putting off all week. And the weather's just turned really bad. Like I just put the washing out and it started raining. So, you know, it happens, it's always the way. We are going to get out of the house soon though and go into the city to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Not much at all. It's just a couple of wee things that we need to get. So we decided we'd do this today. It's probably a good day for it. And then we're going to come home and maybe I'll film a couple of workouts, but 
weather dependent. We're also going to watch a Christmas movie tonight. Although Christmas is in summer here in New Zealand, I guess we still kind of adopt that winter Christmas vibe as well. It's just so cozy and cuddly. We did this last night. We've been and got a whole bunch of snacks at the supermarket and watched a movie. So speaking of snacks, I'm actually going to show you my snack drawer because I do have one. I'll show you what we've got here. Some of my favorite things that I like to eat. So this is my wee snack drawer or our snack drawer. It's quite full at the moment. It's not usually this, this full. I'll show you what we've got. Just some chocolate truffles. They're like a champagne flavor. They're really nice actually. So we've been getting into these. Some scorched almonds. I'm not sure if this is a thing in other places of the world, but it's definitely a big thing here in New Zealand at Christmas time. It's just almonds coated in Nestle chocolate. Little vanilla wafers are common everywhere I know uh, just filled with vanilla chocolate stuff they're really nice with hot chocolates last night we got some white chocolate mud cake they were from the supermarket so we really didn't expect much but they turned out to be really good these are quite a big thing here in New Zealand they're just kind of like Twizzlers in America I've tried Twizzlers and I think they kind of just taste like plastic they don't have much flavor whereas these have a really really nice intense raspberry flavor sorry it beats Twizzlers these are another big thing in New Zealand they're so old but they're so good they're these just vanilla milkshake chewy lollies I never ever get these but for some reason yesterday at the supermarket I walked past and I just had to get them the best chocolate you will ever get Whitaker's creamy milk chocolate it is so so good it is the best chocolate you'll ever find i don't know how to explain it but you just have to try it another half eaten bar of whitakers this is the blondie one so it's like caramelized white chocolate a little bag of santa chocolates i don't know why i brought these i brought them for something oh yes to put inside hot chocolates jalapeno poppers chips these are really good and i'm a big fan of salt and vinegar chips new zealand has a huge variety of chips let me know if you have a snack drawer Hey, so I'm back home now. I am going to push myself to film a couple of workouts for my other channel. I kind of can't be bothered really, but I do this on the weekends because I don't have time to do it during the week. And today's a perfect day. It's overcast. The sun's not going to be coming in and out. So I'm going to have to do it. I'll just get it done out of the way and then I'll feel good because if I don't, it's going to be on my mind and I'm not going to really be able to relax properly <laughs> until it's done. All right, I've finished filming the workouts. I filmed two. I did a 15 minute wall Pilates workout and I also did a 10 minute morning ball pilates workout now is about the time we'd usually make dinner however neither of us actually feel that hungry i'm going to make myself some avocado and scrambled eggs I really didn't feel like anything high carb or too filling so this is all I'm going to have for dinner tonight. This is the last main meal I'm going to have today. 